Today we're going to learn how to do simple arithmetic in Excel. Arithmetic uses the arithmetic operators, the plus sign for addition, the minus sign for subtraction, the asterisk for multiplication, and the slash for division. These are on your keyboard and if you look at the num lock section over in the far right hand side you'll see those four keys are right around the numbers to make it easier for you to use them. And the example that we're going to use does simple addition. We're going to pretend that we're keeping track of our students and their test scores. So we're going to put in a test number one. If you want to enter information into the box, you click on the box you want to type in. You type in what you want to go in there. And you can either click on the next box or press tab to go over. So I've typed in my headings of my data. And now I'm just going to type in some student names. And if you press enter, it'll take you down to the next box. And you can type the names in relatively quickly. There you go. We have some students now in, in our class. I'm going to go over to the test column now and make up some test scores. You would be keying in the actual scores that the student got on their test, but I'm just making up some numbers. I'm going to do the same for test number two, which is a little bit harder than the first test. And, and let's go ahead and put in some numbers for test number three. We'll make this an easier test. How's that? Okay. So, we have our students' names typed in and we have their test scores. Now, we're going to see how to do very simple addition. Say we wanted to find out what the total of the tests that were taken by Sue Smith is. So, to do a calculation, you click in the box where you want the answer. You type an equal sign. You click on the first number. What we're going to be doing is addition, so I hit the plus sign click on the second number. We're going to be doing more addition. So we click on the third number and press enter. So the total of all the three tests together was 200 and 267. Now what Excel does is it lets you take a calculation and apply it down for the whole column. Because if we look at this box, even though it says 267, if I look up here, it's telling me that what that box really equals is whatever is in cell B2 plus whatever is in cell, excuse me, B5 plus whatever in cell C5 plus D5. So now we're going to take that calculation and we're going to apply it all the way down. And in the lower corner here is your copy tool and as I point my, my mouse right at it, it changes to a hairline. I'm going to press and hold now and drag that down to copy or apply that formula all the way down. So now when I click on one just to look at it, even though it says 259, what I really see is it equals whatever is in cell B6 plus C6 plus D6. The formula changed as I copied it down the column. So if I add another student, and give this student some grades, it automatically brought that down for me, which saved me a lot of time. Now, so this is their total. Now I'd like to see what their average is. And what the average is, is the average is simply whatever their total is divided by three, which is the number of tests we did. So this is going to equal their total. I'm going to do division, which means I would type the slash divided by, and there are three tests. I'm going to type in a three. So what I see is this student's average is 89. It's whatever it was in B5 divided by three. I'm going to apply that all the way down, and I see that my students' grades, they all did, they're all B students. Now Excel, because these are um, division, it's rounding the decimals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all my numbers and I'm going to go up here and say I want to decrease the number of decimals. I'm going to decrease, decrease, and it's not decreasing. Let me increase and let me decrease. There we go. 
Excel is a little quirky that way, so I had to increase it before I could decrease it. But now you see all my numbers. I may want to put on one decimal point just in case to give them the benefit of the doubt, whether I round up or round down. So there, those are all my averages. So now I have my table with simple math set up where I can see that what the total of the three tests were and what the average. In the total column, I did simple addition. In the average column, I did division. So that's some basic arithmetic in Excel. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.